And we did it. Next episode. Okay, so... Okay, fire. Uh, oh, do I got to do, do both, both sides? sides? Nice. All right, well... Okay, that was this side. <laughs> it's just, now we go back. Oh, I see. So... This side... Ah, so the thing you were trying to do previously was actually the other side, going yeah. across the blocks. Nice. Let's make a rule with this dungeon. Don't run into big open areas. Uh, it's it's more just you don't know until... They they set those things off way too late. And I know that's the point, but you just... Yeah. Like, by the time you see it, it's not like you can see it and then dodge. It's just like, oh. <laughs> Better accept my death. Okay. Um... I think it is a case of uh, timing it like timing the other right. one, yeah. So yeah, just wait, and watch the other block. Uh, did that even do it? I, I, miss, I missed it earlier. anyway, yeah. so I have to go earlier. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. I'll go next time. Okay, yeah. Just take take your time with it because we want to actually get through. Um, okay. God, that's annoying me now. I had a... A thought. And I can't remember what it was. Story of life. Hey, very good. Well done. Now you got to fight some shit again. <gasps> fight some bros. No. Fuck you! Are you saying the fish, guys? Hey, that was nice and quick. Um, damn. What would, okay, let me let me go back through my steps. Yep. We're saying Phantom Hourglass. Awful sound design. <laughs> Looked back at. Oh, that was it. Um. Oh, he has a hat. It's, it's Robin Skeleton Hood. And he's still got wrecked. Uh, yeah, no, what I was talking about was uh, what we talked about in our last session, which was the whole um, nostalgic thing that I'm currently doing. Mm. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, like, what year would you consider nostalgic to start? Because, and I asked this because one of the games which I found works really well with the kind of Zootopia's melodies and harmonies is actually Assassin's Creed. And I was like, well, that's not really nostalgic. But then I realized that the first one was in 2007. I'm like, well, damn, that's actually a long time ago. Yeah. I think, I mean, it's it's kind of hard to define it by a kind of time-based thing. Hmm. Um, <laughs> I'd almost kind of relate it back to... Because, um, you know, the nostalgia by definition is kind of this um, idea of reminiscence. It's not really tied to... A specific kind of time frame. Mm. It's more about I guess so. remembering the old. Yeah. So you know, I think you can go like it doesn't have doesn't necessarily take a long time for something to be nostalgic. I think it's more kind of um, for me, it's more probably based around where there are shifts in technology or mm. whatever trends. Okay, yeah. I, I mean, can... obviously, something's not going to be nostalgic, like, a year on, but yeah. maybe in, like, the the development cycle where you go from, like, a few years and you hit the next console generation or whatever, then, yeah. you know, d that might not be as much time as in previous cycles, but you could kind of call that nostalgic. Mm. Yeah, no, I think I understand that, actually. Because, um... Initially, I was like, oh, I'll do... Met I did do Metroid, actually, with it. Um, and it was like, okay. Oh, you got the hammer. Way. And I was like, well, I'm basing it on the Metro Prime music more than the Metroid music, because the Metroid music is kind of very... Well, no, it's it's snares and nests, that sort of thing. So, you know, there's only so much you can do with that. Mm. Um, but then I was like, Metro Prime was 2002, and I was like, holy crap. So long ago. Nice. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> um, yeah, now I'm starting to push the boundaries on what would be nostalgic, but I, I, I think I can count Assassin's Creed. Oh, oh Navi what? has the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's cool. Um, 
Ah, fucking warrior. No. No, I didn't even want to hit you. Um, yeah, so people can be nostalgic for when Assassin's Creed was good. Oh! <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> Although that's been a funny one. Because that's kind of that one of those come and goes game series. It's, anyway. Yeah, it's one of those series that uh, like it is. It's it's genuinely actually decent. Uh, or no, what I should say is, <laughs> um, they like how it works is it. There's like always one get every like I, they do it yearly, don't they? Although I think they're not doing one this. They've year. announced they're not doing it yearly this time. Yeah, but. like. There's there's one, always one game which ends up being really good and then everyone gets hyped on the next few games and they end up being crap. And then everyone kind of goes like, ugh, with whatever the next one is at and it turns out to be really good. That's generally how the cycle has been um, because Black Flag was considered actually really decent, but the hype was not there at all. It was just like, oh, another Assassin's Creed and then turned out to be really good. And then UDC came out and everyone was like, oh my God, another Assassin's Creed and it turned out crap. And then the latest one came out, um, what was it called? Syndicate. Mm. And everyone was like, yeah, Assassin's Creed, I guess. Uh, and it turned out to be pretty good. So, you know, yeah, I, that's the cycle. I guess the thing is, like, there's kind of been two two generations of Assassin's Creed titles. Because mm. if we go back, right back to the, from the beginning, like the first one being one of the launch titles on the PS3. Yeah. Um, that was a, like, that was a good game. Mm. But... The people had very, and the complaints about it were very obvious. The fact yeah. that it was repetitive and blah blah blah. Um, but then, kind of the next two or three games, because obviously they brought two out after that, and that was a brilliant game, fixed mm. all of the crap of the first one. Um, but then, like, it's a tricky one there because the next two games were the kind of sequels or expansions to the second one, yeah. and like they all. See, like, I wouldn't... Some of them were stronger than others, but I wouldn't call it, like, that on-off bad game thing because mm -hmm. you had, like, Brotherhood, which brought in some new stuff, and then Revelations, which kind of tied up the story nicely and expanded yeah. on the the new stuff in Brotherhood. Yeah. So it was, like, it was kind of a tough one. Yeah, 3 was, was weaker overall. Mm. Um but it was kind of like that. That kind of didn't really settle, I think, until they were really. Go, oh, Hannah, get the things. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just fucking slamming down on that dude. Um, Navi's, what was I saying? Fake Navi's finally pulling her weight. <laughs> finally doing something. Yeah. Um, um, you were saying about Assassin's Creed. And yeah, I, th I think once the original plot arc of the creed games was done with which fin which wrapped up in three yeah like that's when it started getting a bit weird because they had to kind of go in different directions and then yeah you know that's when stuff started kind of you got into this cycle because things were a bit you know they were more trying out like one-off concepts than yeah than tying up this plot line neatly oh, i see Nice. That's, those are my thoughts anyway. But, yeah, well, yeah. I've never really been that big of a fan of the Assassin's Creed series anyway. So, you know, yeah. my opinion is jarred on the fact that I don't care for the games. Mm. So I think that's a really interesting thing about it because, because of the fact that they were exclusives for mm. a little while. Like, I really enjoyed, uh, you know, taking into account the kind of flaws and... Um, niggles about each individual game I really enjoyed the original let's call it a trilogy for mm. the sake of keeping it simple yeah. um, they had like the the plot line was, was really cool I actually enjoyed a lot some people didn't like the kind of uh, jumping back between this present day and um, you know past yeah. timeline thing I quite enjoyed it I thought it was pretty cool mm -hmm. um, but it was like it was a it was a full and interesting plot arc, and because there was this larger thing going throughout the, um... Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, mm. Um, yeah, because there was this larger kind of arc going throughout the the games, you know, there was something to kind of bring it back to and tie it all together, which worked okay. quite well overall. And I think, you know, yeah, there have been good and, um, good and bad, um... <laughs> Good okay. and bad games since then, but I think they've all kind of been had to have been taken in their own 
you know, individual context, yeah. which is very different to how the the first few games played. Yeah. And I think, you know... That's fair enough. I yeah. mean, I'm kind of the opposite, where I thought that the whole kind of future thing didn't work for me because it kept pulling you out at the worst times because uh, I played number two. And, I, and number two, like, I enjoyed the bits where you were playing in... Where were you playing? Like... Uh, in some Italy somewhere. Yeah, in Florence. That's the one. Um, like, I enjoyed those bits, but it always pulled you out once you'd completed a section into the future bit. And I'm like, uh, it completely ruined the immersion for me because it's like, oh, yeah, by the way, you are playing a computer game within a computer game. Um, like, if they had made the future bits more subtle, like, I think I would have enjoyed it more. But uh, otherwise, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, you know, fair enough. It's not for me. Mm. So what do we do here? So, oh, I know. Um, oh, yeah, shoot yeah. that. Get that a weird-ass temple shit. And convenient arrows as well. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, and I think that's that's the thing about that. Um, like, that's a very kind of highly individual thing. Some people will like mm. that. Some people won't. I guess, like, I've... I've read some of that other kind of mm. stuff, and I, I quite like that fiction where they take um, where they take like historical things and and you know people, places, ideas, and kind of craft a you know craft a narrative out of um, using that. Yeah, um, yeah. It's kind of I, I quite like that stuff. I do agree that at times, particularly in the first game, um, the 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 future bits were very lengthy and kind of dragged you on a bit yeah i think by the time you got to oh which one was it like uh was it revelations it was one of them where you were kind of stuck in the the animus mm. um and that was kind of good because they deliberately didn't play on that too much um i, th I think that's something they really refined in later later kind of iterations of the yeah. game because then no, it's... You do. go back up oh, all um, right because yeah. the door opens so you go to your left and then you can shoot an arrow through oh yeah um yeah uh, you know i think they they kind of well yeah they streamlined it in that one and then in in three they actually gave you some substantial like mm. platforming to do in the yeah in the present day sections um so i guess that's really like I can see the the issue though. I guess it's really for a lot of people revolve around whether they were kind of um, playing more so for that like meta plot or whether they were really invested in the individual games. Mm. Yeah, I was the latter, so the meta kind of got in my way, I guess. But never mind. Mm. All good. Anyway, we're not playing Assassin's Creed. We're playing no. shitty Zelda game. <laughs> Phantom Board Glass. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's so painful to watch you do these. <laughs> oh, big one! That's Maybe probably what I've supposed to have been doing all this time. But... Yeah. Oh. Just hit on the... Yes! Yeah, very good. Ah, oh, oh, so what's there? That's the boss so annoying. Well, you, I think you're almost there. Like, I hope so, because this is boring. Yeah. Oh. It's alright. Well, at least we've been talking about shit. Yeah. I actually have a good thing to talk about next, but I'll keep it till next because we have like a long. minute or so yeah. left. Um, but yeah, it involves my brother and music composition. So for once, we'll actually talk about that. Oh, something that we're supposed to be talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> arrows. So that means you got to use your arrows. Drown, Wario. Huh. Oh. Bam. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, uh, boomerang. It's oh yeah, that'll change, change it, won't it. Yeah, yeah. I want it to go down, I think. Ah, will it? You hit it twice, and oh. it uh, went. Oh, it it's now aiming at you instead. Cool, that's what I want. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. You do want it down. Boing. So if we go, so one, two, three. Yeah, that only works once. Cool. There we go. All right, now arrow. Oh, blam. 
Cool. Good. All right. We'll With finish the rising this. Rising water will do it next yeah, time. Finally, finish this dungeon. Uh.